Welcome back. Today, we're trying out some barbecue sauces that I found at Costco. Let's do it. Okay, so if you shop at Costco, you know that they sell all kinds of stuff. They have a lot of keto stuff, a lot of not keto stuff. Today, we're gonna try a couple of barbecue sauces or sauces in general that I found recently and I haven't tasted them yet. First off, we're gonna try the Primal Kitchen Buffalo Sauce. It's a no dairy buffalo sauce. It is made with cashew butter and avocado oil. Sounds really weird, but we're gonna try it out. Now, I'm doing this solo because you know the lady doesn't like sauces, so we're gonna do this solo. Let's open it up. You may or may not be able to find this at your Costco anymore. They're phasing them out. They've got the little asterisk sign on the tag, which means once they're gone, they're gone. So if you're not seeing them at your Costco, they're probably never gonna get them again. But you can find them at your normal grocery stores. They're just really expensive. Two of these uh, 16 and a half ounce jars was like $8. And I think at the normal grocery store now, I see like an eight ounce jar for the same price. So 30, was that 33 ounces for $8 or 10 or 12 ounces for $8. Hope it's not good because I'm not gonna probably pay that kind of price for this ever again, so. But we'll see. Now, to taste this, I've got a gigantic plate of chicken strips that I made. If you've seen my video for the chicken strips, I'll link it in the description below so you can find out how I make these. And I've got some Nolita, basically cauliflower hash browns. And I'll, I have a, a review video that I did some time ago, and I'll link that down in the description below as well. You can get these at the freezer section of your Walmarts. Smells like kind of like a creamy buffalo sauce. It's got cayenne pepper and it's got distilled vinegar, cashew butter, avocado oil, garlic powder, paprika it looks like. It's a little dark in here. But we'll see if this is any good. I hope it's good because I've got like four bottles. It's very creamy. It looks like... It looks like, I mean, it looks like a very creamy buffalo sauce. So let's try this out. We'll try it with this first. This is, again, one of those Nolita. I think I'm saying that right. Oh, like I said, I'll link down below the uh, the description, the review that I did on this a couple months ago. But these are like cauliflower uh, tater tots that you can get at your, like, Walmarts and stuff in the freezer section. It definitely has the tang of uh, buffalo sauce. It's not overpowering or anything like that. Again, these are some of those keto battered chicken strips that I make. Again, I'll link it in the description below the video on how to make these. Mmm. Ooh, that's legit. I don't know what I was thinking. I didn't know if I was gonna like it or not, but this is actually really good. Good clean ingredients, it's a carb of a total, it's one total carb, probably two tablespoons, one tablespoon. So one carb per tablespoon. So that's like one carb there. If you like buffalo sauce, then this is gonna be good. I think you'll really enjoy this. Hopefully, fingers crossed, you're able to find it at your Costco still. Uh, I was just at Costco today and they only had a small little section of it, not a whole pallet like normal, just a, on top of another pallet of different sauces. So yeah, once it's gone, it's gone. If you're finding value in this video, please take a moment and check out my merch store in the link below. It supports the channel. We've got hoodies, we've got shirts, we have grocery bags, we have aprons, we have all that stuff. So if you want it, we've got it. Take a look, link in the description. Thanks so much, everybody. I was just there today and I picked up this Kinder's. This one actually says keto friendly, Cali Gold Zero Sugar Barbecue Sauce. I'm not familiar with their products, so I don't know if it's gonna be really any good or not, but we've got our knife here, we're gonna open this up. Now the lady does like barbecue sauces for the most part, but 
She's not a big fan of taste testing the sauces. Mmm, smells good so far. It's a nice big bottle. I think this was like $6. I can't remember. It's 26 ounces. It was like $6. It's got tomato puree, tomato paste, yellow mustard, distilled vinegar, uh, allulose, smoke flavor, vinegar, cornstarch. So it's not the best ingredients, but I mean, realistically for a sauce, you're not going to use it all the time. It's not that big of a deal. So let's go ahead and put some of this on our plate here. We've got some of our tots here. We'll try that first. Pretty good. All right. Again, these chicken strips, oh, you have to try the recipe. Again, I can't stress this enough. I'll link it down below. You'll have to give this a try. These are legitimate chicken strips. The breading is legitimate. Super, super good. And if you try this recipe and you have a Instagram, I need you to tag me in it. I want to know how you, uh, how you fared with making them, how it turned out, what you thought. Comment here. Comment on the recipe video. Comment on Instagram. Let me know what you think because this is legit. That's really good. That's a good barbecue sauce. Again, my nose is a little runny. Now this says four total carbs per two tablespoons. Now I imagine some of that's going to be taken off for the allulose, but I don't know how much allulose is that is. It doesn't say. It doesn't say how many net carbs in the front or anything like that. I'm talking about my mouthful. But this is so good. So if you have a Costco near you, go and grab a bottle of this. You won't be sorry. And just to compare it with everything that we normally do, normally we are using the Rays, the Sweet Baby Rays, no sugar added. So just in fairness, I want to do a taste test between these two as well. This is the Supreme Champion so far, even though it's not the best ingredients, but it's delicious. And it was the first real barbecue sauce that we found that really hit home for us. So. Again, we know this one's good. Mm. If you have little kids at home, these chicken strips, again, <laughs> I'm not joking. These are phenomenal. They don't taste keto at all. Mm. Let me know in the comments what your go-to sauces are what you think of these sauces if you've tried them. As always, if you found value in this video, please hit that like button, share with all your friends, take a look at the videos in the description below so you can see what I think about the full review of the Kali Tots as well as the full recipe video for the chicken tenders. Don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you next time.